Um, so advice for parents, and this is the big one, because everything I do is about prevention. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do need to help you when you're in it and get you out. So we're talking about that too, but I just want you to just not even have to experience that. Mm -hmm. So advice for parents and, and for teens to prevent this. Um, recognizing it when if you feel like your child is going through it how to help them out how do you intervene without being dysfunctional yourself and mm -hmm. driving them to that person because mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. see that mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. So That's this, a loaded question. No, Sorry. it is a loaded question, but I'll break it up in two parts. The first part, and many parents, it's hard for us to hear this, but we ourselves have to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And if we're not, that's okay. That just means we have to understand what are our blind spots because we will mm -hmm. lead our teens and our children from our blind spots more than we will from our awareness places. Mm -hmm. So most parents sometimes that are afraid to have the conversation is because they haven't necessarily addressed their own issues yeah. around it. Mm -hmm. And I understand that, you know, it brings up a lot of shame. So how mm -hmm. can I tell my, my daughter to get out of this abusive relationship when I'm in an abusive relationship with her dad, Jesus. or right. I was in that abusive relationship myself. Right. So the first thing I say is understand your values and your belief system and try to be as congruent with them as possible. Mm -hmm. Because the way that you can combat that, the way that the teen will combat that is if you're giving her or him advice and they're like, well, mom, you, you I just saw too. dad push you yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, so who are you to talk, you know, mm -hmm. so making sure yeah. you're congruent as possible. But the second part is to have a conversation with them around your values and your beliefs. Mm -hmm. And for teens in particular, to not do it in a conversation like this, where you're looking them in the face and you're trying to have this serious conversation. Mm -hmm. Teens are more open when it's more of a relaxed conversation. So what I try to coach my parents to do is watch a show that they may be watching. What are the teens watching? Because mm -hmm. it will present itself yes, it will. In, mm -hmm. in these shows. Sit and learn what they're listening to, what they're watching, and then understand their viewpoint before you push them on yours. Because when they're, when they're a teenager in particular and you're trying to address an abusive relationship they may be in, they already have their belief system. So they're not five where we can train them up when, right. and influence them. They mm -hmm. now have their own thoughts about it. Right. So you need to first seek, you know, I always say Stephen Covey, you need to seek first to understand and then yes. to understand where they're at, what are their belief systems. So yes. if you're watching that television show with them and let's say there is a domestic um, abuse situation, well, what do you think about that? Mm -hmm. and stay quiet don't be quick to put in your opinion first mm -hmm. understand where they're at and then talk about if you do have experience and you've overcome it i always tell parents share that be honest be right? honest about it yeah you know that I when i was so 14 i fell in love and you know what i thought he loved me and share with them and then right. she will be like mom mm -hmm. right but then she's going to realize you understand on a deeper level right so first is to be as congruent as possible. Second is to have a, a direct conversation that's not direct. You're mm -hmm. talking about it, but you're not talking about it. You're listening to either the music or you can even talk about something on the news, as you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier. That's use, mm -hmm. yep, use a current event. And what do you, what think, do you, what do you think about mm -hmm. that? And just listen, yeah. because sometimes our anxiety can come up as and parents. You just start drilling the points, yeah. <laughs> right? Because you just so bad want them to think your way, mm -hmm. right? So if you just be patient and allow them to, and then start showing them the inconsistencies yeah. or the contradiction in their belief system mm -hmm. by asking them questions versus make statements. So when right. we're coaching parents, we're teaching them to ask like, a lot more questions lot and questions. to make statements because when they're a teen, they're little people. They already have their own values and their beliefs and their thoughts about certain things. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is, is that as parents, you're still the number one influence. Yes. Until they are out of your house and they're paying their own bills, you still have the influence changes over time. Right. But 16 and under parents are still shown to be the number one influence yeah. on their child's life. Yeah.